And now I give you the once and future leader of the Green Party, Elizabeth May. Je... Prochaine chef du Parti Vert du Canada, Elizabeth May. You know what? It just doesn't feel right to have it just be Jonathan and me up here. We're a team. Sarah, Simon, Chad, and Anna, come on up. We're a team. Come on up. So I just got an invitation to PEI, that's <laughs> <laughs> happening soon. Listen, I think we should stay here together for a moment or two. I've seen too much stuff in the media about how we're a party divided and we can't get our act together. I challenge anyone here to remember any other party that ever ran a leadership race where everybody built the other candidates up, supported each other, built a team, nous sommes ensemble comme une équipe vert, nous sommes ensemble de travailler à l'avenir ensemble, nous sommes une équipe. So, you want to go, okay, okay, you can sit I, I said, if, you know, if you don't have to hang around, if you want to wait, relax. I do think we need change. I absolutely hear the voices that want change, that want to see younger leadership, that want to see a different way the party goes forward. It's been 11 weeks since I was allowed to say out loud that I was running for leader of the Green Party of Canada and that my running partner in this was Jonathan Peno. I want, but we are going to be a party that earns the trust and the faith of Canadians and before the next election, gives Canadians an option they can vote for with enthusiasm instead of once again going, going to the polls and holding their nose and voting for someone they don't particularly like in hopes they keep someone worse out. That's not the election I want to see, not for the next generation. I think we can all be inspired by what just happened in the November, in the midterms in the United States, because guess who turned out to vote? The people who were supposed to give it a miss. The youth, the women, the young women who said, if you're going to try to take away my rights and fight women's rights, we're going to teach you a thing or two and we're going to deliver a result the polls didn't see coming. We're going to do that again in this country because when Greens win, it's from high voter turnout. When I was elected back in May 2011, it was because Saanich Gulf Islands had the highest voter turnout in the country. All the people who had given up decided to pick up their stubby little pencil and exercise some power. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to give Canadians a reason to believe that democracy works. It's really possible to have a change with the power on the terrain, with the roots very engaged in the primordial enjeux.